Anasayo Ryan Walters here along with Jung Muyol and Matthew Bins and a suddenly very chilly <laughs> Jeonju World <laughs> Cup Stadium. We were doing fine for most of the game, but now it's just it's gotten cold again. But uh, well, you know, hey, maybe the players felt the same thing because after a really entertaining first half, things kind of well, they weren't great in the second half. It was an okay match. Uh, Matt, I'll start with you on this one because I think. Well, we were saying it during the game. It, it felt like one of those games where Edong Guk was just going to show up and he was going to get his winner, as always. But that didn't happen. Uh, before we get into too many of the specifics, how are you feeling after this one? This is, as you mentioned, this is the first time Jumbook have not won the opening day match as champions. So how are you feeling today? Uh, uh, yeah, well, because of that, I, f- I do feel a little bit uh, underwhelmed. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, there's an expectation on Jumbook to kind of win these matches and uh, I, I can't I, it just wasn't there today it just wasn't clicking and yeah. it was strange because it wasn't all new personnel like they, they mm-hmm. did bring in a couple of debutants later on but the team that was initially put out was near enough the same as the one that had finished last season uh, so yeah it was a little bit strange in that respect um, yeah disappointing I'd say but yeah. that's still all credit today one all was a, a justified result no no team really deserved to win it in my opinion well and that's kind of what I was going to ask you about Daegu Muyol is that I think if we would have said before the match 1-1 one, one draw I think most Daegu fans would take that yeah. but it kind of felt like a match that they could have taken at times so what were your impressions overall uh, yeah I think as you said you could have taken the result from here but mm-hmm. To, to be honest, 1-1 one, one majority is very fair, and it's not the best start, nor the worst start for Daegu. Yeah. Normally Daegu have a great result from the opening match, so it's fine. So And finally, we, and also we proved the last year's winning the FA Cup was not a fluke. That's a good and point. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy to pick up one point from Jeonju. Yeah, and I think we also, the three of us talked about this during the match, it kind of felt like a warm-up for ACL for both sides. Neither team looked very crisp. Uh, I thought Daegu's movement off the ball today was really, really lacking. Hopefully that's something that they can pick up uh, in ACL. It, they looked a bit tepid, a bit timid moving forward today. Hopefully that's something they can get over. Uh, Dario made his debut, and well, I think Muyol's face tells you <laughs> how that went. Uh, not necessarily the best. What do we have here? Oh, we just had a question come in. Was it just a rusty start, or does this change the impression of Jumbook? Um, I think one match in... And look, I mean, you know, the other thing is, again, I think everybody would expect Jumbook to win this, but they grew the FA Cup holders, it, it, you know. And they're a team that's built well. They have a World Cup star and current Korean international in net. It's, it's, not, it's not that surprising. And again, I think, I think Jumbook did have an eye on ACL day. Would you agree with that? Yeah, there was obviously a lot of transfer activity, but most of those were held back. Uh, Eon mm-hmm. was also absent today. We're still not sure as to why. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to catch up with Jose Murray after the game and possibly mm-hmm. ask him, but he was in the stands. Um, yeah, I think it, it was a strong team, uh, but I think it's going to be stronger, possibly well, stronger in theory, stronger on paper when they play Beijing next week. It, yeah. it is only the first game. I'd just say a rusty start. The players did look a bit off the ball. And I think one thing to remember, and we've we've kind of all overlooked this, but normally John Book have had two ACL group matches before they come into the first game True. of the season. Normally they don't. Normally they're already into the full swing of things by the time they they gets to March. But here, this is their first game of the season, and um, yeah, it's just. A rusty start, but not a not a car crash. Uh, anything, nothing to worry about yet. Well, and I think they would take it this way, where you get a warm-up match that's one of nearly 40 in the league, as opposed to a couple of group matches in ACL, where you don't get as many of those. Uh, so if you're going to have a rusty match, kind of nice to have that come out in league play. Same thing for Daegu. I think it's kind of nice for them to get a bit of a warm-up. But uh, there are other K-League 1 games going on right now. There's a full slate tomorrow. I'm off to Incheon tomorrow. Are you going over to one of the games tomorrow? I'm probably off to Sangju for Sangju versus Gangwon. Oh, really? That's who's going to that game. <laughs> He's the person that'll be there. Uh, Speaking of attendances, it's worth mentioning today that John Book had, tw- this, well, John Ju had 21,250 mm-hmm. people in attendance today on, on a bank holiday and 
yeah, it was a really good atmosphere for yeah. And um, if this attendance had been last year, I think I'm right in thinking it would have been the second highest attendance of 2018. Yeah, so off to a good start there. Hopefully that's something that we can see keep up. And it might have been even a little bit higher today if the micro dust wasn't as yeah, it, truly awful as it was today. We really all should have been wearing masks the entire time, and I feel bad for the players' lungs. But, hey, sometimes you can't control these things. Anyway, uh, we are going to get somewhere warm, and we will be back. Some of us will be back tomorrow. Some of us will be back on Sunday. But it's opening weekend, so we're at this all weekend. Any questions, comments, reactions from this game or any of the other games, Get those in the comments below, but for now, signing off from Junju World Cup Stadium, thanks for watching.